I pray this morning, Spirit of God, that our leaders, our ministering servants, uh, oh God, that there will be steadfast in you. You're spreading your word. Woe be unto the shepherd that scattered his sheep. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. But I pray for wisdom. I pray for knowledge. I pray for understanding standing and more than all caught a double portion of your anointing upon our pastors upon our bishops oh god upon the leaders oh god oh god of your sanctuaries lord jesus have mercy this morning there are so many distracting demons so many distracting spirits lord jesus lord jesus Show up on a Sunday morning, God Almighty, in broad hat and long clothes and jacket and tie. And God, we come not to worship you, but to be a distraction, Almighty God. Oh, Spirit of God, to those who really truly come and need to get deeper in you. But in the name of Jesus this morning, God, I pray, God Almighty, that you will wake up the mothers in Zion, wake up the discerners in Zion, Almighty God, wake up the wailing women in Zion, God, set us on the double watch, Almighty God, oh Spirit of God, because your word said, if the watchman see it, the danger and warn it not the city, that the blood will be required at his shoulder. I pray this morning, Lord God, that our discerners will not remain silent. Our discerners will not turn a blind eye, God, unto the things that you are revealing in a time like this. Oh, Spirit of God, but we will stand up and say, Thus said Almighty God, we will send the warning, Almighty God, we will send the warning. Jesus, 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 we are calling out unto you this morning, Spirit of God, for direction, direction, direction. How we need to handle Lord, your affairs, oh God, oh God, oh God, this morning, Jesus, this morning. Mighty God, we put the ministering servants, families before you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I pray, God, that you will open windows, open, Lord God, open, make provision for your servants. So many times, God, the little that they get from the church coffers, oh, Spirit of God, Lord Jesus, they have to be doing two and three jobs, God Almighty, oh, Lord Jesus, to be remaining relevant, oh, God, in this time. But I pray this morning, Almighty God, I pray this morning, Almighty God, for a turnaround, for a breakthrough this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, mighty God, I pray this morning, I pray this morning, God, a fresh anointing upon our leaders, a fresh anointing, spirit of the living God. Lord Jesus, when the bishops call the meetings, call the conferences, we pray for peace. We pray for unity, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Oh, Spirit of God, this morning, this morning, this morning, this morning, remember our leaders, remember our leaders. Remember every person on faith walk this morning, God, every person that will be joining. I pray this morning, Lord, that as we come, oh God, with our petitions, as we come with that hunger, as we come with that thirsting, thirsting this morning for more of you. I pray, God, that you will send a word this morning, a word that will change our mindset, a word that will bring healing, that will bring deliverance, oh God, that will bring direction in the name of Jesus this morning. Speak to our spirits this morning, oh God. I pray, mighty God that you will take charge and whatever I fail of asking you this morning, spirit of the living God, fail not, O oh God, of granting this morning, but let your divine will be done upon this altar. Let your divine will be done in our lives this morning. And we commit everything to you, almighty God. And we say, do what pleases you. We will give you the glory. 
we will give you the glory we will give you the glory and our god take charge this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ i say amen amen, and amen. hallelujah right. to god. glory be to god hallelujah jesus my god go ahead and pray somebody go ahead and pray somebody hallelujah Hallelujah. Pray for our leaders, our leaders, our leaders, the leaders of our churches. Oh God, may we put them before Almighty God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, we thank you. We praise. God, we lift up. Oh God, this very day that you have blessed us with. This is a day that you have made, and Almighty God, you have been gracious to invite us to partake of it. Lord, we thank you for your many blessings towards us. Somebody said in the word of a song, many are your blessings that you have given unto us. Blessings that are overflowing like a mighty sea. And oh, how we want to thank you. This morning, God Almighty, we didn't wake up in Libya where there, um, the people are flooded out and they're, they're washed away and the, the death toll is rising. This morning, we didn't wake up in Ukraine where grenades have been thrown. Mighty God, we didn't wake up in Haiti. Oh God Almighty, taking our stuff and running into cemetery to hide for safety. God Almighty, we woke up in an environment, God Almighty, that is relatively safe. God, we have food on our tables. We have shoes at our feet. God, you have given us. Oh God, no matter how, no matter how it might seem, a good family. Lord God, we thank you. We have roof over our heads and we thank you. And so this morning we ask that you wash us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Oh God, help us that we will not be complainers, but God, we will be grateful. Oh God, we thank you this morning. We lift before you, Lord, uh, our leaders, religious leaders, we lift them before you. Some almighty God are discouraged this morning. Some feel that, Lord, what they had bargained for, they are not receiving it. But this morning, I pray that as we lift them before you, God, we are lifting them on the Proverbs 11, verse 11. When the righteous is blessed, oh God, the city is exalted. And so, God, we lift our leaders, our religious leaders, and we say, God, we ask you to bless them. Bless them, God Almighty oh emotionally bless them financially bless them physically so god that when they are blessed the congregations will be blessed their families will be blessed oh god the community and the society at large will be blessed oh god we pray in the name of jesus that oh their children almighty god some pastors their children are uh, god are bitter towards the church though we pray almighty god that there will be a turn oh god we pray that children will come to understand that the work that their parents are doing oh god it is as unto god because some of them look and see uh god the poverty that uh, their their father, their mothers are living in God and they're saying, and they have given so much to the work. But God Almighty, I pray that you will cause even now that the names of these ministers of the gospel will rest on the hearts of givers, will rest on the hearts of those who will pray them through. For God Almighty, sometimes we don't even know while we are sleeping in our beds and we're comfortable they are up a storm in the forces of darkness for us and our families so god i pray in the name of jesus that god sometimes ah uh, god they are lacking in so many areas oh god and we criticize but we pray almighty god that instead of us being uh, negative critics and uh, god we will begin to speak life Oh, God, over our ministering servants. Oh, God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will make us destiny helpers. 
for them, God. Help us, God Almighty, to be their armor bearer in prayer. Oh, God, I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you will bolster them on all sides. We pray, God, that when you deposit a word in their spirit, uh, uh, God, they will not second guess it. But they will deliver to set the Lord. Father God, sometimes they hold back based on the different congregations. My God, you are speaking in all congregations. And God, sometimes as pastors, oh God, because of certain caliber of people, they don't want to open their spirits. Ah, oh God, to receive and to deliver. But we pray, God, that they will set their faces like flint as they push through and as they deliver what you give to them. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you will cover and protect and provide. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Morning, people of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Good morning. Praise the name morning, of Mother, Jesus. Morning, morning, Mother Carl. Morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Eternal God and everlasting Father. Our Prince of Peace. Our Maker of Heaven and Earth. This morning, I thank you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise this morning, Lord, that you have waked us up this morning, you have clothed us in our right mind. This morning, God Almighty, we are forever grateful, hallelujah, of your mercy and of your love this morning, Almighty God. We thank you this morning, we are still breathing, we are still seeing, we are still hearing. Mighty God, we are still talking, we are still feeling, oh God, and we thank you this morning for your mercies. We thank you for your grace, Lord. Hallelujah. And even, Lord, as I come before you this morning as an, an empty vessel that needs to be filled by you this morning, God, I pray that you will wash me and that you will cleanse and that you will forgive of all, oh God, my sins, blot out all my transgression and my iniquity, my God, because my sin is ever before me. And so this morning, God, as the songwriter said, wash me in the blood of the Lamb and I shall be whiter than sin. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, your blood, oh God, it cleanse, oh God Almighty. And so this morning, Lord, I thank you for this great opportunity. Oh, God Almighty, thank you, God, uh, that you sent your son Jesus to die. Uh, oh, God Almighty, that we might have life uh, and have it more abundantly oh god thank you for that overcoming grace uh, thank you jesus thank you god uh, almighty god your son you sent uh, that we might have access to the throne of grace uh, we can come boldly before the presence of almighty god uh, we can come boldly before you we can say abba father oh mighty god we don't have to slay the lamb anymore we don't have to play the blood on the door. Mighty God, we don't have to, oh God, burn, the, oh God, any sacrifice and incense go up to you this morning, but we can come to you and we can cry out, Almighty God, and we can make our request known unto you. And so this morning as we come, oh God Almighty, a group of your children crying out to you, and at a time, Almighty God, for our leaders uh, oh god almighty of the different churches uh, the different organization yes lord it's the body of christ uh, we are one in you and so this morning lord as we come before your holy present uh, god we spread out your man servant and your woman servant uh, oh god who are ministers of this gospel before you this morning uh, oh god and as we come lord 
Lord, we pray, oh God, this morning that you will keep them in the hollow of your hands. Uh, this morning, I pray, this morning, God Almighty, that you will build a fence around them. Uh, oh God, we pray this morning uh, that you will strengthen them, Almighty God. Uh, oh God, I pray this morning for another word in their spirit. Uh, Lord Jesus, you will give them hands, feet to go over. God, they will go over. They will go over and not under. Oh, God, this morning, God, uh, many of them are so discouraged. Uh, they are feeling downhearted. Uh, oh, God, because sometimes we, oh, God Almighty, oh, God, as the sheep, we are so rebellious. Uh, yes, Lord, we are so stiff naked. Uh, oh, God, we hard to lead, Almighty God. Uh, we want to have our own way. Oh, God, we have no respect, oh, God, for authority, but in the name of Jesus Christ this morning as we come and as we put your sons and daughters before your, your servants, God Almighty, I pray this morning uh, that you will strengthen them, uh, strength this morning like no other reaches them this morning. Uh, mighty God, I pray this morning uh, that you will whisper words of comfort to them that no other voice can speak uh, because your voice, Lord, makes the difference. Uh, oh, yes, God. And when you speak, you release uh, their troubled mind. Uh, and so I pray that you will speak to them this morning. Uh, give them a word from home. Uh, whisper, oh, God, in their ears, in their spirit this morning. Uh, lift them up above the shadow this morning. Uh, oh, God, I pray that you will help them to continue to trust in you because when they trust in you god uh, they will never fail and you say they that trust in the lord uh, shall be as mount zion they cannot be removed but abided forever oh god this morning i pray that the peace of god uh, will be with them god uh, oh god almighty you will whisper in their heart this morning uh, peace be still this morning uh, oh god many of them the buckler raging uh, but this morning in peace be still with them god almighty because it's in your word you say my peace i give unto you not as the world give it god but you give it that peace uh, that sacred peace almighty god uh, i pray this morning that you will encamp it round about them uh, oh god their ministry god almighty will encamp it round about this morning uh, oh god the ministry will grow from strength to strength. Uh, Lord Jesus, I pray that there will be a fresh anointing, uh, a fresh outpouring uh, of anointing upon your children. Uh, oh God, upon your servants. Uh, oh God Almighty, you will give them another word for the oh, Almighty God. Uh, mighty God, we put them before you this morning. Uh, we call out to you for them this morning. Uh, we put their family before you this morning uh, oh god and we pray for oneness in the family we pray for unity mighty god mighty god uh, sometimes some of us oh god we believe that the pastors uh, are the ministers uh, they don't have problem at home uh, or they don't have problem uh, because we believe that though god some believe that they are not human uh, but this morning they are human and human forget uh, mighty god and so so this morning, uh, I pray, God Almighty, that you will tabernacle their family. Oh, God, whatever need to be fixed, you will fix them. Uh, oh, God, whatever need to be turned, you will turn them, God. Uh, those who in the family that need to be delivered, you will deliver them uh, from the plans of the adversary and set them free. Yes, God, sometimes those are the things uh, that the enemy use when they can't get them one way. Lord God, they go in the family, they use the wife, they use the husband, or they use the 
children are the grandchildren oh god but this morning we pray that every yoke will be broken upon them this morning we pray that every burdens will be lifted off your servant oh god almighty i pray this morning that no crow will pitch upon their sacrifice lord god this morning we spread them out holy ghost before you this morning and we beg of you lord mighty god to bring deliverance mighty god mighty god their ministry will grow from strength to strength there will be no stoppage almighty god oh god yes the crow will not spit upon their oh god ministry because it's their sacrifice almighty god that they have been sacrificing unto the work of god and so this morning no crow will pitch upon their sacrifice wherever oh god your servants are this morning whether it is in the east the west the north or the south i pray this morning holy ghost that there will be a visitation upon them this morning i pray this morning that they will have a new encounter with you yes lord you will do for them what no man can do this morning there will be a move there will be a stirring lord god almighty i pray this morning that you will open doors for them financial doors uh, doors which no man can close god uh, you will provide for them almighty god you will meet their needs almighty god uh, oh god according to your riches in glory god almighty i pray that you will release upon them god almighty this morning you will release upon them uh, we are calling out for them this morning uh, some is on this very platform this morning and you know them uh, you know minister let's oh god pastor let's uh, oh god almighty minister jasmine oh god rose evangelist pastor yes god we put them past the tyrone chin uh, mighty god before you the chances uh, holy ghost and many others that preach uh, oh god pastor gregory mitchell uh, oh god when the enemy attack oh god the shepherd uh, oh god almighty then when he attack the shepherd his sheep will scatter uh, but this morning i pray god in the name of jesus uh, there will be no scattering uh, there will be no attack in the name of jesus uh, there will be no attack of the enemy jesus uh, oh god we send fire in the camp of the enemy this morning uh, and every assignment oh god almighty and every plans this morning uh, lord god every conference ah yeah yeah that the enemy have uh so oh god concerning your servants your ministers uh this morning we send the fire of god in the camp of the enemy we send the fire of god in the camp of the enemy yes we send the fire of god in the camp of the enemy and we say burn holy ghost i am a koto none of us are we say burn this morning god uh, every plan shall be shattered uh, confound the enemy scatter the enemy scatter the enemy and his army scatter the plans almighty god almighty burn them god almighty this morning uh, let god arise and the enemy be scattered this morning uh, and we send the fire of god in the east uh, we send the fire of god in the west uh, we send the fire of god in the north uh, we send the fire of God in the south, uh, and we ask you to burn Almighty God. Uh, some of them have business plan, yes, Holy Ghost, uh, that need to come to maturity. Oh, Daraba Yes, 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 Lord God, Holy Ghost. Uh, yes, 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 the business plan. Uh, oh God, but the enemy is fighting, uh, and every time such a person try to start. Uh, the enemy want to oh God to abort that plan uh, but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth uh, this morning we call that that business plan will come to birth uh, yes God Almighty that business plan will come to birth 
water. It will give birth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No stopping for your children. No stopping for your servant. Mighty God, this morning we put them before you. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, we put them before you this morning. And we ask you to breathe upon them another time. Breathe afresh upon them this morning. Oh God, breathe upon everyone upon this platform this morning. Those who are here already, those who have left uh, and those who are coming, God, let the fire of God uh, be upon this platform. Oh God, let the breakthrough deliverance uh, move mightily upon this platform. Uh, if a man servant, Gregory Mitchell, who have always ministered and a Wednesday, I place him before you this morning. And we pray, God, that your word will go forth with power. It will go forth with clarity. Oh, God, souls will be born. Oh, God, souls will be delivered. Believers will be edified. Your people will be healed. Oh, yes, your people will anoint you. Oh, God, a fresh anointing upon your people again, God Almighty. Let your word, Almighty God, let the internet give no trouble this morning. Uh, we say, enemy, take your hands off. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, we command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ Almighty to be submitted. Uh, oh God, we call for it that you will die by fire in the name of Jesus this morning. Uh, let there be breakthrough and there be deliverance. Uh, let there be victory, God Almighty. God, we give you glory. We give you all the praise this morning. Uh, we give you worship. Uh, take joy, my King, uh, in what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound uh, in your ear this morning. Let worship be easy upon this platform this morning. Let worship be free. Oh, glory to God. We tell you thanks. We tell you thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to another morning of prayer. Welcome to another morning of fellowship on Faith Walk this morning. We are glad that we are here. God has given us another day and this day to worship him. And I just pray that as we come this morning, is that our sacrifices this morning will be laid on the altar. Hallelujah. And as our warrior has prayed, that the crows will not come near. This morning, children of God, coming to deliver the word to us is our Wednesday morning resident pastor, Pastor Gregory Mitchell. I pray this morning that the word of knowledge will come this morning and will take effect in our lives, in our situations, and that we will testify of the goodness of Almighty God. The altar is now over to you, Pastor Gregory Mitchell, in care of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Please and good morning to you, evangelist pastor. God bless you. Bless God. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. God bless you, um, prophetess Let's and pastor Let's and all the wonderful pastors, Dr. Rose, Pastor Altier, Pastor Johnson, all the pastors, Pastor Chin, and everybody who may mention up on this platform. Praise God for that wonderful prayer from um Chanel and sister carol and all god's wonderful servants who continue to pray day after day we thank god for you praise the name of the lord it's another day as the writer said this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it i'm so glad to be a part of what god is doing right here on this platform i continue to share <clears throat> with, with with those who are um presently going through their busy schedule and just make a sacrifice to be here every morning we thank god for you for those who are getting ready for work and they are just dropping years to be a part of what god is doing we thank god for you as well we look to god for something supernatural today bless the lord i saw the face of the lord but this this presentation i choose praise god by the spirit and power of god 
to just <clears throat> make it a little teachable um just to be of great benefit to those who love to take notes to those on social media platform on youtube those who are watching on whatever social media platform you are this day we thank god for this prior meeting every morning we listen attentively uh and we we, we hear the people of god as they testify about the goodness of god and how god continue to come through for them in different ways uh we realize then that praying is very important especially early morning prayers it is very important just as midnight prayers are important that's exactly how morning prayers are important whenever you rise up to pray early in the morning we see where god continue to come through for his people and as we respond um to the call uh you know sometimes you might feel a little shy or a little scared or you are a bit reserved and you're saying you know i can't pray like mother carol i can't pray like dr rose i might cannot pray good god like like pastor let's and and all the ministers and those who are here every day but even if it is for two minutes in the presence of god if all you know is our father who art in heaven pray don't be afraid to open your mouth and utter your voice and to the lord he is waiting to hear your voice praise god and we come knocking on the throne room um we look to god as we knock upon the doors of the altar wanting god to release a fresh revelation into our spirit um as i as i look uh, through today's proceeding um try not to be long just to hit the point and get to it and be a part of of, of this great day's proceeding um invite somebody share with somebody tell them that hey we need to get this word today and we don't want it to pass us by get busy just start sharing with somebody sharing is caring i don't want anybody to miss this today so i'm gonna make sure i share it with every person in my contact bless the name of the lord while i pray i want you to get online and start sharing today we are looking on restoration once again we want to look at this word restoration praise the name of the lord there is so many people out there going through their broken situation their experiences the circumstances that they have been confronted with breaks them people are in shambles people are right now in pieces uh but god is saying i am here to bring restoration father in the name of jesus we thank you for today we give you glory for your presence mighty god you are in charge of this altar there is none to take your place you sacrifice your son uh, glory to god whose blood was shed for the redemption of man we look to you today divine god that you will release a word into somebody's life that will uh, reconstruct and redesign refocus their lives throughout the course of this day we look to you right now and we thank you for what you're about to do we give everything to you right now and god we surrender all to the lordship of jesus christ we thank you for uh, furnishing us with the things pertaining to the kingdom that we can be like-minded we can stay focused we can stay directed by you and guided by you whatever we do wherever we go whatever we say we speak not of ourselves but we speak thus say god we thank you that our mouth belong to you oh hands our feet my god whatever is there within us we surrender it to you today by the power of the holy ghost and we give you praise right now in jesus mighty name 
and everybody open your mic and shout hallelujah just want to make sure that you're hearing me clearly praise hallelujah 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 I want to bring I want to go to a passage of scripture today. Um, from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 16. We want to take a little cruise through this text, one that we have oftentimes been reading and have gone through it several times, not just here, but there are many other scriptures that I would love to bring to you today. But time would not allow us, but um to make mention of them, then you can go through. I want to slow down today and just to make it teachable. So if you have your notebooks, get them. If you haven't shared with somebody, um, start sharing. It is um, the moment to invite somebody to be a part of this morning's um, teaching and presentation. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want the teacher in me to step forward today and uh, that we can praise God. I was over there in Corinthian last night. Praise God. And it was an awesome service. Praise the name of the Lord. We give God praise. St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 16 and verse 13 onward. Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi and he asked his disciples saying, Whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? Question to the disciples. And they said, some say, this is on the basis of here he says, um, some say that thou art John the Baptist. Because the question was directed to them about what people are saying about Jesus. I know Jesus knew um, what people were saying about him, but in his mindset and his effort to bring closure and clarity uh, to the disciples' mindset. He's trying to pull them out of their comfort zone, asking them questions in regards to how people are dealing with them in public space. Here Jesus is saying, uh, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they, the disciples said, some say, Thou art John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others say, Thou art Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, This is the time for them now to respond personally. So he said to them, But whom say he that I am? Whom do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ the son of the living God. And Jesus responded and answered to him and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood had not revealed unto thee, um, but the Father which is in heaven. Glory to God. And I say also unto thee, thou art Peter. Jesus said to him, this is Peter in whom I'm talking to presently. I want you to understand that upon this rock, I will build my church. Um, so Jesus is trying to, to show you the difference between what he's about to do and the person of Peter that holds the testimony and the confession and the knowledge of this revelation. Upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Uh, oh, glory to God. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever thou loosed, I shall loose in earth, shall be loosed in heaven. Glory be to God. Then charge he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. Father, we thank you once again for your words. They have already been anointed. And we give you glory for them today. Speak to your people now, I pray. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. I want to talk today a little bit um, restoring the ancient landmarks. A restoration of the ancient landmarks. Um, in the book of Joshua, Joshua chapter 24 and verse number 15, the Bible says, um, Joshua was speaking to the children of Israel, and he said unto them, If it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve whosoever or whatever or whether the gods of which your father served and that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell but as for me and my house we will serve the Lord and the people answered and said God forbid we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods this is the people talking my people the people responded to joshua and said joshua god forbid we're not going to forsake the lord uh, to serve other gods as uh, somebody need to say be careful what you speak when you open your mouth because god is going to hold you to that which articulate from your lips for the lord our god israel is speaking he he it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of egypt from the house of bondage lord god of mercy people this is the children of israel speaking to joshua because of the declaration he has made concerning he and his house and whom the people should serve the children of israel is saying to joshua joshua we're not going to forsake the lord and serve no other gods mark this down my people i got to show you something the people said to joshua the lord our god he it is who has brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of bandage and which did those great signs in our sight and has preserved us in all the ways wherein we went and among all the people through whom we passed. Okay. Is Israel, <laughs> written no, no. God, please close your mic if you will. I jumped down. So and the Lord drove out from that. before us all the people. The people. Sister, Sister Riva, your mic is on, please. Thank you. And the Lord drove out from before us all the people, even the Amorites, which oh dwell God. in the land. Therefore, will we also serve the Lord for him. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. Sister John, your mic is on. Bless the name of the Lord. I want to go to one more scripture. This is Bible study. One more scripture, my friends. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm slowing down this morning because a lot of unsaves are online every morning. And one of the things we need to do is to start implementing a faith work baptism. Praise the name of the Lord. River is in porous. I know Dr. Rose and all those who can make it. Praise God would we'll be happy to be a part of the faith work baptism under the assemblies. Praise God of the firstborn. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know Bishop Cook will have no problem with you having a baptism and faith work and pointing the people to a Bible believing church. I hope that you heard what i've just read glory be to god we want to go now to the final text which is judges chapter number three and verse number seven glory to god hallelujah hallelujah i want you to turn with me my people turn in your scripture 
Turn with me there. Go there with me to Judges chapter 3 and verse 7. Don't just let me alone go there. I want you to be there with me as well. This crazy thing is acting up this morning. Praise God. Judges chapter 3 and verse 7. Glory be to God. Remember what we spoke about? How the people said to Joshua, they're not going to turn away from God. Woo, Jesus have mercy. Judges chapter 3 and verse number 7. And it says, um, and the children of Israel did evil. You hear what I say? The children of Israel who have just made their confession before the face of Joshua. Ah, uh, glory to God. Don't try fool nobody with nice words. Don't try trick nobody because God is going to hold us guilty for that which we have confessed. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and forget the Lord their God and serve Baalim, Baalim and the groves glory be to god therefore the anger of the lord was hot against israel hot yes because the people just opened their mouth and said they will not forget god so god was mad his righteous indignation was up to the highest point and he sold them into the hand of koshan reshatayim king of mesopotamia and the children of israel served koshan reshatayim for eight years and when the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord in true repentance, if I may, the Lord raised up a deliverer uh, to the children of Israel who delivered them, even Othniel, the son of Canaz, which was Caleb's younger brother. And the spirit of the Lord came upon him, which is Othniel, and he judged Israel and went out to war. Uh, and the Lord delivered Koshan Reshatahim, king of Mesopotamia, into his hand, and his hand prevailed against Koshan. And the land had rest for 40 years. And Othniel, the son of Canaz, died. If you notice that Aod, the, the next judge after Othniel, he reigned over Israel because at that time it was during the season, the period of the judges. And here goes my people, Israel, who have just confessed to Joshua before he died. It was in the final chapter of the book of Joshua when Joshua was about to close out Immediately after Joshua died, the children of Israel did evil, and it is seen in the book of Judges, chapter number three, verse seven onward. Um, I want you to understand that God is into restoration, not because we know that God can and he will restore us. We must be um, um presumptuous and our presumption would have driven us to the point where we do things believing that god is going to forgive us all the time um for our unsaved and our backsliding believers that are here online our backsliding friends that are here online i want you to know that god is not going to sit down and even christians God is not going to sit down and watch us doing the follies all the time because we believe that he's a merciful God, he's a forgiving God, and he's a God who seeks to restore. There is a penalty for every action. And to every action, there is a reaction. So as we look at the ancient days, and the restoration process that one desire today let's look at the word restoration restoration is on the basis of a building that crumbles and need the hand or the fingers or the touch of a good architect to redesign to put some artistry to the work that have been broken down like a Nehemiah with the walls of Jerusalem to rebuild the wall that have been burnt 
and he see the need to reconstruct, to restore that which has been broken. Restoration is the action of returning something to the former owner, to the former place, or the former condition. Uh, uh, the process of restoration, um, the process of the work of art, is to bring back the original condition. Now, when you look at the reinstatement of the thing that have been restored, of the previous practice, the rights or the situation, the restoration of the capital punishment one would have um, spoke about, um, to return to a monarch, uh, to the throne, the head of state to government, or the regime to power. Restoration attracts word like reinstatement. It is to reinstitute or to reestablish. It is the reimposition or the reinstallment or rehabilitation. The reestablishment of a thing or of the, uh, the building that has been broken down, the new and um, renewed um, view from that building will bring shocker to the eyes and the mind of those who know what it used to look like before the state of restoration. My brothers and sisters, on the basis of restoration, restoration attracts many different terms and conditions. There are four foundational truths about restoration from the Bible that I want to show to you today. Number one, restoration can happen in our physical bodies because of the state that we are in. We need restoration. It is not only the sinful nature that causes us to desire restoration, but physically we can be in the position uh, and become desperate, especially on the basis of health or finance or marital status or our, our, our interests that we have lost over the years for things that are dear to us, especially in the, the line of spirituality. The zeal that we used to have for the things of God. No wonder why in Revelation chapter 4, verse 2, or chapter 2, verse 4, says, I have somewhat against you because you have lost your first love. If you don't return, I will come quickly unto you and remove your candlestick from out of his place. Glory to God, say the Lord of hosts, lest thou repent. So restoration can happen in our physical bodies. For I will restore health to you, say the Bible in Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 17. God is saying, I will restore your health and your wounds, I will heal them. I will um, declare that the Lord is God over my life. And he is in charge of restoration. He will and he is going to and he has restored me from the sickness. I remember one time I used to work in construction and I used to have to load off the trailer. When it comes with the 300 bags of cement, I would have to load up the cement of the trailer and bring them to pack them in the storeroom downstairs in the ground floor of the new building that has been constructed. People of God, it was up on that basis. After lifting these loads for some time, I found out that I had hernia. The hernia almost killed me. It could have taken my life. And uh, I remember when I, I leave construction and went into foods. So I was now the head chef 
at Bell's Engineering Works in Kingsland and Heavy Duty Limited Equipment, Equipment Limited. And while I was there cooking every day, the earner would attack me because of the long standing and the long hours on my feet. I was sick and I was recommended to a doctor. And the doctor say, I will have to cut this thing out of you. I said, thank you, God. I could have been dead on several occasions when it attacked me. But God sought to, to bring me out and he um, produced healing for me after. So I said, God, um, what is going to happen? I'm not going to able, be able to have children again and all of that because I thought that the earner would damage me forever only to understand that it was not so because of where the operation would have taken place, then I will still be able to survive. So I did the operation and uh, people of God, I want you to know that the spirit of the Lord spoke to me after I done the operation. And God said to me while I was at home in the state of recovery, I was laying there one day and my mother was in the house staying with me. And I heard the Lord said, do you know, because at work, they told me that they cannot give me a vacation because I am the only one they are depending on to cook for 180 workers. While I was there, I thought that I was so important that they could not do without me. So every day, every year when my vacation came around or comes around, I would be paid off. So I would still work through my vacation period and be paid for my vacation just the same. So I thought that I was so important. People, I want to say that to say this, that we are not so important that God can't do without us. It, it doesn't matter who we are in society. It doesn't matter what you can do. It doesn't matter where you're from. God can do without us. God can choose somebody else. If we think that we are everything and God cannot do without us, we are making a sad mistake. God can choose anything and use anybody he will. If we want to um, hijack this thing and don't want to do what God calls us to do, and we want to tamper with the ancient landmarks, we are in trouble with God because God has the power to raise up sticks and stone. Look at this, my friend. When I was sick and dead of recovery after the operation, somebody else was working in my place. Remember that the manager told me they can't do without me. Look at this. Now I am sick. Who are they using? Somebody else is in my place. People of God, never believe that you are irreplaceable at no time. And there are some of us in our churches, we believe that our position is there forever. No, you need to change that mindset. No position in church is forever. It is just a period of time. It's for a season. Somebody else is coming and you need and we need to create somebody else. Teach somebody else. Make another you. Put what is in you in someone else. That the person will be taking over from you will be guarded against error. Because you who have the know-how, don't keep it to yourself. I know you one can sing. God can create other singers. So don't believe that because you are the choir director or you are the praise leader, you are irreplaceable. So you can boycott the service whenever you want. The devil is a liar. No, God can replace us with other people who we thought could not have done it. And God can anoint them to do it better her than we are doing hallelujah to god i hope i'm getting across to somebody because most of us we struggle with this situation in church and it is a result of a lot of the malice in and the strive and the envy and the covetousness and the bad mind and the hatred because people are fighting for position. But here I'm showing you some of the fundamentals that restoration can happen 
in our physical bodies. The Lord called me to a place and he brought me back to the hospital bed. How oh, when they inject me with the anesthetic before the operation was done, I was dead, dead, dead. I was not conscious of what they were doing. I was sleeping. I did not see what they were doing because I was out of this world. When I woke up, I was in my home laying in my bed. How did I reach home? I don't know. How did I get out of the hospital? I don't know. The Lord showed me a revelation. He said, while you was dead, all that you used to be doing, that they told you that they could not have done without you, somebody else was doing it. And it's the, the, he said, the busyness of the traffic was still busy. The sound of the horsemen was still there. The marketplace has never lost nothing. All that was happening is that you were not conscious of what was going on, but the world was still running because, uh, uh, not because of you. So let's stop believe that the church and the foundation of the church is built upon any one of us. God can raise up another preacher. I, I, I will never come out here at any time and make people believe that I am the only one that can preach Wednesday morning. If Sister Let's, First Lady Let's call me and said, I have somebody to preach Wednesday morning, I have no problem. Can I tell you, I have been invited to church already to be the guest speaker for the day. And until now, I don't preach yet. I'm telling you this truth. If it was some people, then would vex till them boss. I'm telling you the truth today because of, of, of a natural feeling. Uh, I was invited as the guest speaker. You know what I did? I clapped my hands and I sing along with the people and I did not have a have a look on my face how I could have been other places and sometimes God are humble we sometimes God is humbling us people of God and teaching us humility him just bring us out there and and just drop us like mother eagle who brought out her children and drop them in here space and cause them to learn how to flap their wings sometimes we have to relax even though we are preachers and let somebody you know how I feel feel good in the morning when 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 i heard preachers preaching to me i i get a word from from pastor johnson i get a word from pastor williams i get a word from pastor chin i get a word from dr rose iron sharpness iron so i will not have an issue if first lady let's say pastor mitchell i have another speaker for wednesday morning and if you are preaching or designated to preach any morning or to share a word and you were asked to do so and the holy ghost preside over the meeting and you did not get the chance to minister do not blame it on first lady let's do not blame it on um, evangelist faster do not blame it if, if if you are invited to minister and when you listen you hear dr rose ministering do not have up dr rose she did not fight against you god have a different plan jesus of mercy my god and so we have to be flexible when it comes on to restoration my brothers and sisters i can go for a walk every day i can make trips to the gym uh i can cook healthy meals at my home all of these are good things to bring honor um to the one who created my body all of these help me reign uh, uh regain my strength glory to god I I I, I I I i may have lost during illness or injury the strength that i have lost during my injury but god can give me the power to regain it but nothing can fully restore us it doesn't matter how much food you put in your body if your metabolism is low and, 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 and your blood count has gone way down and, 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 and the food that the doctor recommend for you to avoid starch and stay away from sugar and don't eat anything acidic and, and all of that. You can intake all of that, but yet you still don't be restored. You still haven't been restored back to your perfect health. 
only God can bring restoration to the perfection that we so desire. I know you can eat right and you can walk right and you can exercise and you can go for a walk, and, but that cannot produce the restoration that God gives or that God can. Uh, glory to God. People of God, in chapter, in, when you read through the Bible, uh, you see then that God is up to something supernatural. Um, watch this, my friend, in my second point. Restoration can happen in our spirit. Before your physical man receive that healing, yes, your spirit man can lay hold on it before it manifests in the natural. And that's how we are as Christians. That's how we are as believers. We we tend to, to, to lay hold on things in the spirit realm before it manifests in the natural. So restoration can happen in our spirit. Here what the Bible said in Psalm chapter 51 and verse 12. Restore to me the joy of my salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit, with a free spirit. Psalm David was trying to, to, to make this um, um, recommending nation to God. He was asking, this is a request that David was requesting from God. Life struggles can suck the joy right out of every one of us. Even the most positive person, life struggle can suck the joy out of you and make you have a sad countenance when you walk on the streets. That's why I do the song, brokenness inside and it starts shows, but God promise he will keep you alive. People of God, pale ones, struggles on top of others, and we can easily become trapped under the weight of despair. God's promise for restoration doesn't only apply to our physical bodies, but it also applies to our spirit man as well. You can read the scriptures and you will gain understanding that the Hebrew word for restore in Psalm 51 verse 12 can be defined as to return or to turn back. Sometimes I lose my way. Hallelujah. I get distracted many times chasing the wrong things. And before you know it, I am questioning where God and why I feel so far from him. Call it to God. We, when we see God again, he will turn our hearts towards him. My joy returns as I ask his forgiveness and I submit his plan instead of my own. I submit myself to the plans of God instead of my own plans. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He is willing and able to grant you the forgiveness that you ask for because restoration is happening in your spirit. Uh, the Matthews Henry's commentary put it this way. A child of God knows no truth, nor solid joy, but the joy of God's salvation. Joy in God, his Savior, and in he, the hope of eternal life. Claim this promise with me today, my brothers and sisters. God is able to heal you and to restore your spirit. Claim that truth. Claim that promise. Lay hold on it this morning and tell yourself that it doesn't matter what you are encountering right now. 
the God of the Hebrew boys, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God who is the creator of the heavens and the earth has made you a promise for you to claim today that he is able to heal and to restore to you the things that you have lost. Number three, restoration can happen in our circumstances and our surroundings. Restoration can happen in our circumstances and in our surrounding. Here at Job 42 verse 10 declares, and the Lord, and the Lord restored the, phone, the, 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 the fortunes of Job. My God, he restored that which Job have lost or has lost. Uh, when he had prayed for his friends and the Lord gave Job twice as much as, as he had before. Look at this, my friend. Sometimes, you know, we have to be real. Uh, sometimes we let me let me be true to you today online because a lot of people don't understand that many of the people that you hear online praying for you they are going through hell i love to hear when the men and women of god open their mouth to pray but i'm telling you that many of the people that you hear out here praying day after day they might go through hell right now as i speak they have some situations that if they ever open their mouth to tell you and faith walk you run you wouldn't believe that this brother or this sister is going through all of that but yet when they come out here to pray they don't pray from a broken spirit or a broken with no joy in their heart, praying for other people. Job did not receive this level of restoration from God until he prayed for his friends. Read Job 42 verse 10 and you'll see. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends. When we feel like we have lost it all, my brothers and sisters, God promised to return even more than what we who have lost or what we have stolen or what have been stolen from us i have lost so much things i have seen people glory to god i remember at one point i remember my brothers and sisters my home was broken into you know that in my life spam span i have experienced people broke into my house four or five times I think it's five times already since I leave my mother's house, living on my own. Uh, since 1994, I have experienced broken into my home five times already. Five. I'm not talking about people broke in my house and go look and walk away. I'm talking about people break into my house and take away everything, including my clothes. And all that was left is the suit on my back. I was in church preaching and criminals went and break in the mission house where I was staying and take away everything that I have in there, including my company and said, when I went back there, if I had stayed in the church for another five minutes or 10 minutes, my television would have been gone. When I went there, the television card was already rolled up and wrapped up and put down on the floor for the next trip. Maybe that was the final trip. But when I looked the back door to my house, my room was kicked open and everything was gone my chest of jaw was empty my, my my clothes was gone the only clothes that was left was some of my church clothes them not eat my church clothes them leave me for go back to church but all them fancy jeans and pretty sneakers the devil take them and gone people of god i i i, I experience criminality to the highest level and, and 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 the devil is always taking stuff and guess what that does not rob me of my joy because i know that the god who have provided will restore to me more than what i have lost glory to god some people have lost some stuff brother denzel and they ball and lose it and lay down and say me not gonna work today even if they steal my car you think i'm gonna lose my faith 
if listen, my car is parked in the front of my yard, and men come in front of my yard to steal my car. And when they look, they did not get to steal it. You know what they did? They come back and, and take away the two front wheel. And it is still there parked without the two front wheel. Praise the name of the Lord. People of God, I went to work. And when I went to work and, and, and leave, change my, my clothes, my nice sneakers and pretty jeans and things. And when I was finished working and go to the changing room, the restroom, to change, to come home, my clothes was gone. And that happened three times while I was working at Breadmaster Bakery. My God, the men that came on the trucks to deliver flour and thing for the Irving supermarket, they stole my clothes, leave me with nothing. And I watched God restore all that the canker worm and the palmer worm has eaten. And today I can testify. I don't know how much shoes I have. I don't know how much clothes I have. The closet full till I don't know where to put clothes. Praise God, I have to be giving them away. And there was a day when I only have one. People of God, when you pray for the blessings of God to come upon other people, God will in turn bless you. Let's not be selfish Hallelujah. with this. Thing. Let's not be selfish with what we have. Let's not hold them pretty dress and say, oh, I love this one, so I'm not giving it away. That's the one you should give away. The one that Amen. you truly love. The one that, you know what, what, what with us as Christians, what we are giving away is what we don't want. Stop My giving God. away what you don't want. Give away what you love. I was online the other day, and I was telling some folks, oh, I remember I was in the States, and I get a brand new, Italian, the Vietnamese clocks. Jesus Christ, people of God, you know them Vietnamese leather with the suede. When you look on the clocks, the clocks clean and pretty. You, I, I love the clocks so much till I tied it up in a bag and buy the clocks suede cure polish to spray it. That when you spray it, the suede stand up in the clocks, people of God. My, my, my. I love the clock, Sister Hell, Sister Holly. I love the clock. So till me, me no want mm. nothing dust to blow on the clock. Me tie it up in a scandal bag and put it way up in the top of the closet. That name mm. is not every time I go and wear these clocks. But I was I at home one morning. Jesus Christ. And I saw one of my pastor friends. He drove to my house and he said to me, Pastor, you give me one shoes already, you know. But guess what? The one where you give me mash up, I may come, come check you if you get another one. People of God, I went in the closet and I said to myself then, which one of my shoes I'm going to give the man now? I went and took up three pairs of shoes and bring them to the gate for the man to try on the three pairs of shoes. And anyone fit him, I would give it. I'm not talking about shoes that I don't want. I'm talking about brand new shoes that yes. I have here that I love. People of God, you wonder why God bless me so much? Me give away what I love. Anytime I'm giving something, if it's not something that I really love, sometimes I give away some stuff and I say, Lord God, what me just do? When I come to myself, me I say, did I just do that? Come on, somebody. Some of the reason why we don't get no blessings is because we are give away what we don't want. Stop it. Start giving away what My you God. really love. Because if you leave your hand, it must leave your life. And when you give people stuff, if them wear it to church in the name of God, don't look on them. Because they will think you're looking on them because you give them the dress. Do not ask them, Lord, I know it was going to fit you. That's why I give it to you. Stop doing that. If you give My sister God. a dress, if, if you bless Sister Let's with a dress or a shoes, if at any time you see her wearing it, please don't look at her. Don't look at her. None at please all. Don't. If you have to look at her, Dr. Rose, just turn away your head and, and just give God glory. Just pretend like you're not yes. in the sea because why, why are you going to come and ask me now? How the shoes fit? If it, ask me before you see me in it. Sister. Eh. You go and wait until until you see me in it and you see your friends them. You are telling your friend, lad, I, I'm gonna give her the shoes and you just sit down oh, and I'll put Jesus Christ, we what don't. an embarrassment. You see the we sister don't. you need and you give the sister a dress and now you go to church and, and, and the anointing was so impacting and you walk over to the sister and you greet her and you hug her and you, you pinch the dress and say, my God, it look good on you, man. You kill the sister spirit, man. Jesus Christ, my have God. mercy. You just the sister spirit. 
You can't do that, people of God. And, and these are some of the things we need to, to implement. If you give the brother a jacket suit and you see him wearing it, don't pay him no mind at all. Don't. And, 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 and look here. Sometimes we give away some things that we wear already. And you, the people know that you are the only one they see with something like that. And when they see the other person with it, them say, I wonder if a sister let's give him that African. Can you know, sister let's love our African skirt. And if you see somebody else with a lovely African skirt, do not pay the person no mind or have your mind for Sister Let's African skirt. Sister Let's never want to come tell you say she give away her skirt. So she never give you no right to go out there and question whose skirt it was. Hallelujah to God. Preach, and so it, 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 there's a problem right there because people are hurting because sometimes we kill them and you wonder why the brother don't come back. It's because you are watching the man in his shoes when we, where you give him. My God. Jesus Christ. So I'm saying to you that so much things have been stolen from me. And, 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 and God, in turn, I was saying to a gentleman last night, I said, brother, I, I, it, it, this is not Jamaica, no. This is in the state. People of God, when I walk in my room, I literally, I, I try to hang something. I have a walking closet in the States when I'm in New Jersey. And people of God, it's nothing to boast about or to hype about. But when, when, when I go in my closet, can I tell you not even another jacket suit can hold in there holding something pack? Mm. So I have no fear in giving suits because the more I give is the more God bless me. I give away two and God give me six. I give away oh, one God. and God give me three. I give away the nice shoes. People, I went to preach and, and people see me in the shoes. I say, my God, what a nice shoes. Can I have it? Can I tell you, I, I just put it in a nice bag, clean it up. I'm not talking about shabby stuff and ugly stuff and dirty stuff and rejected stuff. It's brand new, something you just put on and wear it one time as somebody like it. Why are you holding on to it? Let it go and bless somebody else. The joy that you feel when you own it. Let somebody else feel the joy of owning it too. Praise the name of Jesus. I want Pastor Let to feel the joy that I feel feel when I own the car. So if I can bless her with one, I want her to feel the same joy that I feel when I sit praise alone. And say, well, come on, praise God. Have mercy. Sometimes people, the things that we give is things that we uh, reject. So our, our heart let go of it long ago. So when you give it, you don't feel it. No, you must give things that your heart still need to. And when you give it, your heart pain you, man. Yeah. Lord God of mercy. Did I just give away my brand new tambourine? My Lord. Sometimes we, we have been asked to, to bless somebody and we try to be mean. And we start to complain about what the person has done to you 10 years ago. So you're not giving them nothing because you remember what his mother do to you. And so what? If his mother has done you harm, that doesn't block you from giving to the child. Come on, somebody. Bet, we better cannot... you give that one. Sister, the Bible said give and it shall be given back to you. Good, Good better. Pleasure pressed down, shaken together and running over. Glory to Hallelujah. God, because there is more blessing in giving. And this is not to beg anything. It's, it's more blessing in giving than receiving. Be a part of the project. If you see a brother being a need or a sister, we, we look here. You must, you must work with your eyes at time. When you go to church, don't go with a criticizing spirit because there are people out there who have needs and God would have shown it to you for you to fix it. But instead of you fix it, you go, go and talk to the sister. Then you want to tell me say she could wear something better to church. Oh, God, God showed it to you for you to fix it with them just where you have. And if you refuse to give them away, God are going to raise up one of them big, broad, back cockroach. They come <laughs> bite it. 
So when you sit down and have mine by your white dress where you're having the suit bag, when you check it, three cockroach lay on it and spoil it because God told you to give it away and you did not. Praise the yeah. name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God told Hallelujah. you to give it and you did not give it. So the cockroach fix it for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that if you have your nice dress, the cockroach will come mess it up. But sometimes when God speaks to you, don't say it's the devil and start rebuking the devil. Satan, the bloody of Jesus is against you. The DMs, I'm glad I talk to your people of God. I say, give it. And you say, oh, Satan, the blood is against you. It is God speaking to you. Are you rebuking God? Praise the name of the Lord. People of God, let's look at the next point. I got to close this thing because it's good for us this morning to understand that restoration um, can happen in our circumstances and our surrounding. Restoration uh, um, um, will always be visible on the outside, um, but it, it begins on the inside. Yes, it uh, they, therefore in Second Corinthians chapter 5 17, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creature. The old things has passed away, and behold, all things has become new. Have you ever seen one of those home improvement shows where they intend to update the home in six weeks? But as they break down the walls, surprise partly writing our, 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 our wiring all the plumbing are mold hide behind the exterior that you have never seen with your natural eyes and you thought that six weeks time you would have completed only to realize that six months down the road the project is still under construction in the same way God wants to see deep changes in our lives. Oh, glory to God. Beginning with the not so pretty things that may not be visible to others. When we pray for restoration, we can begin with a short prayer asking God to reveal any unclean thing within us. People of God, Psalms 139, 23 to 24 is a great place to start. Restoration will oftentimes take longer than we expect it to do. And we may not see the results, but we can know that God is working on our behalf. Instead Amen. of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Instead of this honor, they shall rejoice in their lot. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess a double portion. They shall have everlasting joy, according to Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 7. People of God, I want you to understand that restoration is on the basis of one's willingness to stand for God as we go back to restore the ancient landmines. Two more minutes and I close. Restoring the ancient landmarks. The ancient landmarks is the standard, the pattern, and the ways that the people of God has chosen. The prophet and apostles of old, they live by, they followed, and they followed the, the, in their days to the day-to-day the, the -day activities based on the commandments of God. These patterns and ways were their drive to everything that they did was in line with the things of God and the requirements of God. People of God, Jesus was the pattern, the standard, and they never deviate from the standard pattern that God has implemented. In Proverbs 28, verse 22, 28 says, Remove not the ancient landmarks which thy fathers have set. If the standard is about restoration, don't tell me technology has taken over so you don't have to mention a restoration again. 
There is no way around the standard of God. It doesn't matter how technology has grown. If this is God's standard, it will remain until Jesus comes. No man can implement a new standard that overrides the standard set by the Almighty God. And so we need to go back and roll back the curtain and ask God to bring us back. There are standards, there are patterns, there are ways and landmarks our fathers have set that we must not deviate from today. Instead, we must follow and live by them. If we want to be better, if we want to be better off than they, people of God, and to achieve what they never achieved, the standard were passed on to them by their fathers. And they, in turn, have passed them on because they were given uh, to them by God. Uh, in Deuteronomy chapter 31, 12, the Bible says, gather together all the men, the women, the children and strangers within thy gates and read the commandments to them in their hearing that they may hear and learn and observe the commandments of God and they will be able to teach it to their generations who have not known and have not heard and they will follow the principles. People of God, let's dare to follow the guideline. Jesus build the foundation of the church upon the confession of Peter, the rock, my God, the solid confession, the, the revelation of God and who God is. And so I say to you today, do not stray from the fundamentals. Let's continue on the foundation that Jesus had set for the church of the living God. And we can never go wrong when we follow through the principles of the Bible. If there is any other thing I said to the church last night, there is an attack that is coming upon the church. We are about to be scrutinized to the deepest level because of the LGBT society. People of God, it is the text from the scriptures that we use to combat against their folly. And now I see in the spirit that there is an attack that is about to come upon the Bible because that's what the preachers are using to, to reject the demonized behavior of these dirty spirits that are coming in the earth and are being here. And we are binding them because the Bible gives us the right. And because we base our philosophy upon the scriptures, the scriptures and the preachers of the scriptures will be attacked in a serious way. People of God, let's start praying because there is an attack upon the Bible. There is an attack upon the pulpit. There is an attack upon the occupants of the pulpit and the carrier of the gospel. So let us keep our ministering servants of the gospel in our prayers. And if you have nothing to pray for, remember, pray for me. I need your prayers day by day to continue this Christian walk in the power and the might of God. God bless you today. Have a wonderful day. I pray and I hope that this teaching has been a blessing to you. Remember, restoration is at your door and your health and everything that is within you is about to experience a turnaround. God is bringing back to you that which the palmer worm and the canker worm has eaten. God bless you today. Father, I thank you for your words. Thank you for your people. Mighty God, it's more than speaking in tongues. It's more than jumping over the benches. It's more than whooping and hollering. It's more than shouting loud. It is just coming across simply, profoundly, the way that somebody can understand. Mighty God, there is a platform here for every area of the ministry. We pray now over the unsaved. We pray for the backsliders. We pray that restoration will be the main focus in the name of Jesus. We pray for our children. We pray for the wives. We pray for the husbands. We pray for the homes. We pray for those who are busy on the job. We pray for those on the road. We pray for those who are at the bus stop. We pray for those 
those who are getting ready to go to their daily routine right now. We pray over their business adventures. We pray over their mindset. We pray over everything that they put their hands to, every plan, every arrangement, every situation, every struggle, everything, every brokenness that they have encountering. We pray that God, you will restore to them the joy of the Lord, which is their strength. We thank you today that God, you will give us grace for this journey. Strengthen us now, we pray. Sit us under your wings. We give you glory, praise, and honor. And we thank you for this day in Jesus' name. Bless your people now, I pray. And we give you thanks. Amen. Let me say to those who are unsaved and backsliders online, we are opening up this platform if you need to be baptized, if you need to return to the Lord, if you need to recommit your life, please give um, First Lady Let's a call. Please find somebody online, Evangelist Foster, Pastor Althea, Pastor Tyrone, Dr. Rose, call somebody up and tell them that you are ready for your water baptism. The Faith Walk Prayer Line is opening up their wings. And if you need to be baptized, we can provide you with the teaching needed and the river still uh, is flowing. We can take it to the river. We can make online arrangement and we can meet up with our tambourines and sing and give glory to God and baptize you whenever you want to. Please don't make it be too late because time is running out. Thank God for you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Back over to you, Madam Moderator, in the care of the Holy Ghost. Have a wonderful day. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a powerful word this morning. The ministry of restoration. I didn't even, you know, think about it or thought about it in the manner that you actually dish it out unto us, man of God. May um we're just gonna go ahead and it's the same thing that he preached this morning. I just want somebody who is led to just go ahead and declare restoration and pray for the man of God this morning. Anyone, if you feel it in your spirit that you feel like praying, just open your mic and begin to pray and declare restoration in every aspect of his life. Go ahead, somebody. Father, hallelujah, in the hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Restoration, restoration in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over the man of God. Father, restoration, restoration, oh God, and coverage, supernatural coverage, oh God, preservation, God. In the name of Jesus Christ over the man of God and his family. Father God, I cover him. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, God, that you will preserve him, God. I pray, God, that you will strengthen him. I pray, Father God, that you will fill him up again. I pray, Father God, that you will order his steps. I pray, God, that you will cover him under your banner. I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will hide him, oh God, under the rock. I pray, God, that you will give him a brand new lesson on how to run under your feathers. I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blind the eyes of the enemy as he passes. I pray, God, that you will cover his family and everything that concerns him. I pray, Father God, that you will fill him up again with wisdom and understanding and more understanding. Oh, God, everything that concerns Pastor Gregory, his voice, his eyes, his steps, Everything that concerns him, God, is hearing. Everything that concerns him, God, is vehicle. Everything that concerns him, God, is household. Everything that concerns him, God, I pray, God, that you will take it up in hand and you will carry him. You will, you will keep him under your feathers. You will hide him, oh God, 
and cover him under your blood. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank the Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Faith Walkers. Good morning again. My name is Donnery Smith. Good morning again. It is, it is, it is such a profound word this morning. You know, a few months ago, I was saying, God. I don't hear people preaching about restoration. What happened to the ministry of restoration? It is all broken down. There is no one that is preaching about restoration. And to hear the man of God teaching about this this morning, I just want to declare, man of God, that every aspect of your life, I declare restoration in your finance. I declare restoration on your mobility. I declare restoration in your spiritual, in your physical, in your emotional life. And every single aspect of your life this morning, I declare it. I declare it. I declare everything that you need to be um, restored unto you everything that the Congo room, the pillar has eaten, has touched. I declare this morning restoration. I heard you said a few months ago when you were going abroad yesterday, I was telling somebody about this, and your your one suitcase was stolen with your suit. I declare restoration. Everything, and you talk about this morning where the enemy stole your furniture, stole everything. I declare that even this time when you're even trying to bail or whatever you're doing, I declare restoration. Every single thing that the enemy touched, I declare a double portion. I declare that it will be restored back to you as God this restored Job double fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us just go ahead and declare. Let us just go ahead and just declare over his life this morning. Because when you find a man of God that is faithful, despise of everything. Come on, people. Let us just go ahead and declare. Declare. Oh, we declare. God, declare. We declare. We Many of us this morning are on this journey. We we may feel as if look, there is nothing in our life that needs the strong hand of God to restore. Many of us, we are saved, but there are some little aspects of our life that need restoration. And as I share with you, I was not even thinking about it the way the man of God put it this morning. And I don't know what you want to restore this morning, but I want to restore my finance. I want to restore some things this morning. I want to ask the Lord to restore some things. It is not because I was, uh, you know, we are always saying that, look, man, it's sinners who backslide. But when you look at what he was saying this morning, when you think about the revelation that he was giving us this morning, we all understand what restoration means. 
and man of God, I know in my spirit and I feel it and I know that I have the authority to declare restoration over you. And the enemy that fights you will fight you no more. I declare that you are high above principalities and powers. I declare that you are soaring in your realms and the enemy that fights you, you are taller than the enemy this morning. I declare a new grace, a grace to unlock this morning because in this end time where you rightly said that the LG, um, they're, they're rising up on us as Christians and in this time we have to stand. I declare that you will have the unction. You will always be unction to function in the capacity that God has called you to function in the mighty name of Jesus. We seal your family. We seal everything that belongs to you this morning because this is revelation. And I know when somebody puts something, the enemy will always come. But I declare an edge over you and your family this morning. And I declare the enemy weapons nullified this morning. And I declare that you will your face will come up before intercessors that are rooted in God to bring you to always pray for you and lift you up before God. Hallelujah. Is there anyone this morning with a burning testimony? I feel like, you know, praying this morning. I just feel the unction of the Spirit of God just to bless you. Is there anyone that has a testimony this morning? They both shout out about. You can go ahead with your testimony. Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I just want to greet you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. And I just thank the Lord for the word this morning, restoration. When we are restored, we can do valent for God. In every era of our life, when we are restored, we can stand strong. So this morning, I just bless the name of the Lord for the word this morning. And I will continue to walk according to his word because I am restored this morning to stand. I praise the name of the Lord for what he has done for me. Oh God, I just want to lift him up. I just want to praise him as we continue to worship together in Jesus' name. Morning, everyone. Good morning. I just want to give thanks for this powerful presentation this morning. I too just ask God to restore me in many areas of my life, restoration for my children, for finances, etc. I just want to tell you how much God is good, He's great, and I just want to continue to serve Him. What an awesome God we serve. I went to Darian's um, open house last night, and I just want to tell you, saints of God, that I was really elated with his grace, just one area of his seven areas that he has a low mark in, and I know that that can be improved with, with help, but everything else is from 80% to 101% that he has achieved since school has reopened for this quarter. So I just want to give all of you thanks for praying him up. And I know that you will always continue to pray for him. And I just want to say thanks to the man of God for this message. I, I cannot, I couldn't, well, at one point I could not hear him because my earbud went out and I was on the, on the bus because I cannot listen aloud on the bus. But to God be the glory. I fought with it and it came back on and I got to listen to the end on and I got to listen to the end. Thank you, man of God. I pray that God will restore you in every way. I have been victim of car stealing, all of those things, missing clothes. Until now, my clothes keep going missing and we just cannot understand. But I know that God is going to restore. God has continued to restore it double fold and I have not gotten back a car as yet for myself, but I know that God is going to 
give me back one when the time is right. So you continue to pray my strength as I continue to pray all of your new strength on this platform. And may this platform continue to be a blessing to all of us. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. It is restoration mourning somebody and every aspect that needs restoration. I am tapping into this grace. And I'm tapping and I honor even the preacher that preached this morning because I know that I am connected to the grace and his life. I am tapping into this restoration. I don't know about you this morning, but I feel something in my spirit this morning. Come on, people of God, testify. Testify of the goodness of God. Good morning, everyone. Um, you know, I just want to thank God that we are here together, alive and well. And, you know, that message that Pastor Gerby has preached this morning, it really had me going. And for me, I totally want restoration for my life, for my Christian walk. I need restoration because no man is perfect. I need restoration for my life and restoration for my marriage, for my children. I need restoration. I need restoration that I can able to outline to somebody to say, this is it or this is the way. Not just for myself and just for my family, but for Come the entire work family. We, Amen. We, I need restoration for all of us, not just for myself. And the word, the words that Pastor Gregory has sent this morning, honestly, it, it really hit. It really hit. It really hit. And I hope you all take into consideration the words that he has spoken. And I pray that, you know, somewhere along the line that we will just do some self-introspection and, and just know that we need restoration in our lives. And not only for ourselves, but for others. God bless you all. Good morning. I'm just saying the words really spoke to me because yesterday I was like at my lowest point. I need restoration. I need God more than ever. Thank God. I need that restoration. Hallelujah. I need a turnaround. God, Hallelujah. I need everything else. I need you more oh, than ever. Because I'm, I'm at my lowest points now. And oh, this word, restoration. Have mercy, Jesus. Restoration. And I'm giving God thanks mm. just to be here to hear this word this morning. Oh, we need to pray for each other. Look out for each other. Sister and brother, just continue to pray my strength. And I'm just thanking God for this word. Amen. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. The songwriter Amen. said, when I'm low in the spirit, I cry, yes. Lord, lift me up. Is there an intercessor Amen. that you to join with me Amen. and to pray for Janice this morning? Yes. And Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Other persons that are in my Hallelujah. spirit. Michelle, Jesus. Pansy, this morning I was going to ask your son for your Pansy, but I said, no, I'm just going to listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. You have been on my mind. You have been on my spirit. And I speak restoration over your life, Pansy. Whatever I aspect of your life that need the power of God, I speak it this morning. Come on, is there somebody that will join yes. with me and pray for Janice? Yes. Father, yes. in the name yes. of Jesus Christ, yes. God, yes. God, yes. Oh, <laughs> 
we <laughs> this morning Whatever your journey is with the blood of Jesus, no weapon that is formed against your comfort this morning, no weapon that, oh God, formed against the aspect of your life shall prosper. We declare open door this morning over your life. We declare that everything that ambushes you, that everything that 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 we declare a loosing this morning. We declare every darkness. So koto ribi and do do bo Push from your atmosphere now. We declare that you will not leave this atmosphere. Mako without restoration. Riba ba 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 ko shatadabai. Rima kasuku rubo shatadaba. You shall not give up. You shall not echo shatadaba. I pull you from that darkness, from that place of pitiness. Rapa kasatu makasato riba Satala Bako Sande, Rimande Ko Satadaba, Raba Baba Baba Ko Shatada, you shall lift your head high, Rapa Kasuko Tobo, Limande Ko Sataba, God Almighty, you are the lift of our head this morning, God Almighty, Father, I pray that you lift our spirit now, God, lift our head above Shande, Masuka Daba, every situation, Maku Sataba, Rebe Ko Shanda, that is acting over time, the blood, the blood destroy now, Maka Saku, Raba Kasatadaba, we blast Rebe Ko Shande Ribaka Satadaba Masakuto Ribi Bibi Bibi Kushatadaba 
eko shande masuku riba baba baba ko satarabai you shall neko sotoro boshi kedebe you shall walk ikoto raba baba baka sataraba and nothing to mo sakataraba riba baba baba ko satarabo shatarabaya jesus riba baba 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 ko shataraba you ikoto ribi and de libi and daraba a god eko shakaraba raba baba 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 eko robo shataraba i fight maku sakaraba i shoot on i pull down maka sakataraba raba baba baba ko shataraba you shall not feel sorry and pity Marco Sato Riba Kasata. Hey, I declare that this morning is that morning that you will be delivered and set free. Masako Riba Kasata Raba Raba Baba Baba Baku This morning a po shataraba. Everything that is locked up by the blood of Jesus. We unlock no Raba. Everything but Raku Rakato Raba Sata Rama Sata. Not only you but your Fakoto Rima Kasata. Your family. Rabba, <laughs> Loose my fire this morning, Janice. I send your name up in the all is of all is Rabba Kasato Yande Makasata. This is the time Akusa Kataba. Too long, Rabba Baba. Ba. Too long you have been saying, God, what is happening? Where? Makasa, where did I go wrong? What is happening with my life? Makasa Taraba. Rabba Kasata. You have been saying, God, is it that you're no longer hearing my my cry, my prayer? It is it God Almighty and need help. Rabba Baba ba. Rakato Akusa Kataraba. I call for reinforcement Bakitiva. He angelic Bakitiv this morning. Rabba Baba ba. Rakata Kata. God, you said you command them god almighty we send the sword against against every forces that fight you this morning in the name of jesus christ of nazareth this morning this is your day this is your day you will never be the same i declare it and we as believers we join our faith this morning you will yes. say no more that you cannot go through you will say no more that this place that you are you are at the people you will say no more that you're not sure what is happening with your life you will say no more you will look to the hills from where you will look to the hills from where you will look to the hills Anyone else with your testimony? And if you have your spoken request, if you have your request and you want to write it this morning, you can go ahead and write it. This is what this altar is for. This is an altar of deliverance. This is the Lord's doing. Any more testimony? Anyone that needs special prayer for restoration this morning? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. You know that um, I said when I was on the prayer line, I come off and say, let her take like a few days and just pray myself and just stay with God by myself. But I don't still don't see where it materializes. And then VT convention come and over here we did have 
few days of youth camp meeting. It was the same week of VT. It started Thursday and finished the Sunday. And then you see from that, I can't wake a man in time. Me can't wake, me not say why me come off, me can't, me just can't wake all after seven, after eight, me wake a man in time. First time me always wake five o'clock, my five over here, your four out here, and me pray and give God thanks in the early morning and then me join in. But dear sister, I come on the prayer line two mornings and at that time them are wrap up and me say, God, this morning me have to fight to get up, fight for say no. Me week, me go to bed early this last night. Me week in I after two, and my dear sister, me say me just have to fight and say no. Me week a little a little after hour five over here. And me say no, me I get up, me lay down and me can't get up. And me say no, me I get up and me get up and me sit down and me pray, pray, pray. And me give God thanks, not praying, give God thanks. And afterward, me say me go in joining, but me have to fight for joining on the line this morning. And say, Pastor Mitchell, come with the restoration. And Sister Danary have me connected to her. But so God is good, and I'm just thanking for this line because God has restored us and put us together to bear one another's burden. When we get weak, there's someone to pull us up because sometimes the enemy fighting. And when me leave off, I pray line to me, I go. I want to be with Jesus. Me not see where it materialized. So me still have to give God thanks and thanks for the prayer everywhere. Even though at me in the mornings, my sister come on late. So we have a prayer meeting every morning, same way. But sister, I am giving God thanks. I'm here and I'm trying to regain strength to come back full in full force. God bless you in Jesus' name. Restoration, Mother Pansy. Restoration in every aspect. Restoration. Receive it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sister. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Morning, people of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good morning, people of God. Morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, brother. Good morning. Yes, good morning, morning brother. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good yes, hallelujah. I, you know, good while morning. you were here, Praying for Sister Janice. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord was just speaking into my spirit. Hallelujah. That my sister, Sister Janice, I don't know you, lady. We have never spoken. But the Holy Spirit have been speaking to me that, you know, the enemy wants to put you in a spirit of depression. Hallelujah. But as the word of God comes this morning to us, speak about restoration. My sister, I just encourage you this morning, hallelujah, to dust off yourself. Sister Janice, are you married, ma'am? <laughs> Hello? Sister Janice? I'm here. No, no, I'm not married. Hallelujah. I don't know what is coming your way. Hallelujah. But this morning, I... I, I, I I am hearing something about marriage in my spirit and whatever the enemy want to put into that spirit of depression. But in the name of Jesus this morning, we speak restoration over your life. We speak deliverance. We speak victory. You will not go in that spirit of depression in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sometimes the enemy want to come in with different things. Uh, your body is feeling like you're shutting down uh, and you are saying, I cannot make it. Uh, hallelujah. But this morning... Uh, as the word of God come this morning, hallelujah, God speak, hallelujah, this word of restoration in your life, my girl, yeah, whatever the enemy, oh God almighty, come with her, whatever the enemy have taken from you, in the name of Jesus, I hear the Holy Spirit speaking about family restoration, evil right now, family restoration, in the name of Jesus for your daughter, mighty God, mighty God, and we 
declare and we decree almighty god that restoration will come in every area of her life financial area mighty god we call forth for restoration for sister janice this morning we call forth almighty god for physical restoration we call forth for spiritual restoration yes holy ghost woman i hear the spirit of god said sometimes you feel not even to pray oh god almighty but i can't tell you when oh god almighty you stop praying when the enemy comes in and say janice don't pray push to pray because the enemy want to defeat you oh god but down in the valley he restored down in the valley oh god one songwriter said but in the valley he restored my soul restoration for janice this morning no spirit of depression no depression will come upon you lord god no depression in the name of jesus we declare it this morning that the depression uh, will die by fire out of your life this morning in the name of jesus christ of nazareth uh, we pray for restoration in your family we call back your family from every setback uh, we call for oneness we call for unity we call for restoration in the name of jesus we call for oneness uh, in our family in the name of jesus uh, we ask you almighty god that every yoke in this family will be broken there will be deliverance uh, there will be victory in the name of jesus restoration restoration in the name of jesus restoration for your daughter in jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah god bless you in jesus name hallelujah and i am just continuing to ask the prayer for myself my family hallelujah and friday i'll be doing an eye surgery and i'm asking also for you to pray for me hallelujah god bless you in jesus name amen Amen, 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 amen. It is well, it is well, it is well. It is well, it is well, it is well, mother. It is well, it is well. God is already on the job, and we will pray. I will definitely pray for you. Any um prayer requests, any other prayer requests this morning that you would like us to put before God? Any other yes. person? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Greetings in Jesus' name. I have our prayer request for my granddaughter, Casey Habot. She went to school yesterday. She was vomiting. She go to the doctor. She do some blood tests. And this morning, she's going to do a whole So So I just pray, ask that you will pray for her. She's going at Knox in great heat. So I'm just asking for prayer for my granddaughter, Casey Habot. Hello, good, good morning. morning. Just a minute, please. Sorry, sorry, um, it's Mother Rafa to be butting in. Hallelujah. But <laughs> you know, as Mother Darkins open her mic and speak about the request for Casey. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Some some of the requests we have to, you know, take them urgently. <laughs> Sometimes we have to take them urgently i don't want to take it this morning can you know and i would ask somebody with the permission of the moderator just to pray for that child greatness the enemy is just fighting Mighty the God. enemy is just fighting and i'm going to just with the permission of the moderator as i said before do an urgent prayer for that child in the name of jesus god bless you Yes, anyone let um feel led to just pray. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's okay. It's okay. Anyone, come on, let us pray. Let us pray. Hmm. Mighty God. You see, you see, our children, our children, because our children, you know, sometimes it's not everything you can talk because it's not everyone is at that spiritual level. But you see, this this semester, our children, and this is what I've been I've been 
fighting against these altar in the two o'clock, the three a.m. every morning for our children destiny. There are some destiny killers that has been unleashed, has been released in this season over the children. And look, man, we have to cover our children. We have to pray. I see some things coming, man. I see where they want to switch destinies. I see some things that, that the spirit of vaping, smoking, sex, Come on, some sister. It has Come been released. On, it's Come it's on. Unbelievable. Come I on. Hallelujah. Be Come on. In the midnight hour. Sometimes I don't sleep, mother. Many days, sometimes yes. I don't sleep. Because this is what yes. is in my spirit. I see where the demonic world has yes. been open and the, the, yes. the, the, the spirit that has been released. And many Christians yes. are in trouble, mother, because what happens yes. when they are sleeping, the enemy are using their spirit. When they are yes. sleeping, the enemy are using their spirit, gone different places, and yet they are Christians yes. because yes. they're not connected. They are not, they don't, they are not sure what is in on God's mm. agenda. And if we don't know yes. what is on God's agenda in the season, we will pray and miss. Mighty God. Mighty Man. God. We will pray Mighty and miss God. Our children are in trouble. My children God. are in trouble. You, you know, sister, God. as you said, as you said, listen to me, man. People of God, people of God on the platform, whether you have children or grandchildren, they are still our children. The nation children belongs to us. The nation children belongs to us. Hallelujah. Praise Mighty the name God. of the Lord this morning and we need to pray because what came to my spirit when the enemy cannot get to us is getting at the children. When Mighty the enemy cannot God. get to us to hurt us, he's trying to hurt people that are very close to our hearts. Amen, amen, amen. I'm 
God Almighty, we pull them out in the name of Jesus. We will die by fire this morning. We pray that we fail the fire of God this morning. Oh, God Almighty, pull them out this morning, God Almighty. We call them forth out every Lazarus condition this morning. We call them out every dead situation this morning. Yes, we call back some young men. We call back the young men out of every dead situation. We call back the young girls out of every dead situation. Yes, and we speak life to their situation this morning. What is what is going to get them this morning? We speak life over their condition this morning. We pronounce death on them. We pronounce lessons. We pronounce we pronounce Almighty God every good thing, sir. We pronounce lawyers and barristers upon them. We pronounce pilot upon them this morning. Lord God, we pronounce secretary upon them this morning. We pronounce businessman and woman upon them this morning. Lord God Almighty, we said the fire of God in the camp of the enemy. Okay, I don't know what you have been experiencing this in morning, uh, but we God call for it that there will be restoration for the children. Uh. Okay, we Jesus. call for that they will restore. Uh. Oh God, yes, God. everything that the enemy have taken from them. Uh. Oh God, Jesus. the that spoke the over their lives. Uh. In the the we call them man and fighter. We pray that they will die by fire Jesus. this morning. Uh, every mouth that oh God Almighty speak over them uh, and speak anything things. Uh, Yes, God, some of them that is giving trouble in the home, some that is giving trouble in the school, they are giving assignment to them. Every forces of darkness that are assigned to them. Lord God, every sexual demons that come upon them. What it was this morning, we step in the head of the devil this morning. We cross the head of the serpent concerning our children. We the head of the serpent. Uh, what it was, we sent fire in the colleges. Uh, we sent God Almighty loosing in the colleges. Uh, this morning, God Almighty. We pray that there will be a new sin. We said, Don't go to the homosexual. Homosexual demons come by fire. We are in the fear of the other. 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 Yes, <laughs> 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 
No, God. We no, God. fire this morning. No, God. Somebody on this platform is saying, Somebody, I don't know what to do with this boy, I don't know what to do with him, but in the name of Jesus, wrap him up in the blood of Jesus continually. Him. I speak God, mighty God this morning that our children will listen to their parents. Hallelujah. Listen to their parents. Every other forces. Every forces of darkness this morning that come upon our children. We say die by fire. Lord God Almighty, the spirit of homosexual. We say die by fire. We say lesbian spirit. The spirit of getting rich in rich quick. Yes, all you are for What was thank you, Lava Kukuraba Sanda? Yelaba Sanda Lava Sata Ministry of Persa. Lord, what God, the principal they will become. Jesus, <laughs> 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 
There is a victory for somebody this morning. There is deliverance for somebody this morning. There is victory for somebody this morning. There is restoration for somebody. Can I not rest? God bless you. 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 Hallelujah. 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 God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I put the request is echo rabba. God Almighty, I pray that you'll cover your daughter, Coral. Rima Mama Koshata, Rabba Kosata, Ribaba, Lemo, Lima, Naku, Nasa, Lima, Kosato, Ribobe, Cover Makusa Katana Bosh Atadaba, Rapa Katadaba, Lima Mama Kosatadaba, Cover under your blood, the Bosh Atadaba Kasadabo, Cover under your blood this morning, Monday, Riba Kosato Bosh Atadaba. God Almighty, let no backlash come upon our God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, I pray that God Almighty Jesus, you will move my Kasakato by your might over her life. Ma, ma, Sakata. God Almighty, Rabba, Baba, Bako, Shakatadaba. God Almighty, I pray that you touch the eyes, God. Eko, Rebe, Koshande, Ribako, Lamande, Kasakuto, Robo, Shakatadaba. God, as she's about to do the surgery, God. Almighty, I pray God Almighty that the pressure of the eye will be normal. God Almighty Jesus, Mako Saturi Bioshadaba. Every surgery, Masa Tatata. Lord God Almighty, every procedure, God. I pray that you'll take it over, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. We pray, God, that you'll be a settling of the pressure, God Almighty. And Father, there will be no delay. God Almighty, let every instrument, God Almighty, that will be used for everyone, God. God Almighty, that will be venturing into surgery, God. Let every instrument, God Almighty, be consecrated and sterilized. Mighty God, by your blood, Father, we pray, God Almighty, that there will be no mistake, there will be no errors, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for this success, God. This morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, and even after it is done, God Almighty, we pray, Father, for speedy recovery in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we pray, God Almighty, that our family is covered, everything that belongs to her father we put them under the blood god as she intercede god we intercept the plan of the enemy now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we plead the blood against every warlock in the name of jesus christ every which is god almighty and every powers that would want to oh god almighty elevate escalate in our life no in the name of jesus god we either in the shadow we either under your blood this morning mighty god of daniel as i take the request Questions this morning unto you, Father, as I lift up your children before you, know God Almighty, oh God, from his toes and no God that is asking God Almighty for prayer, oh God Almighty, for this person, God Almighty, with swelling in the leg, Mako Shata, Ribo Shande, Lady and God, I stand as a mouthpiece, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, and we clear, we declare, no, Father God, that mobility, Father, in the name of Jesus, God Almighty, we break off everything that catches, we break off everything, God Almighty, that all the feet, Mako Satu, Ribio, God Almighty, and we speak the blood on this morning to flow now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Father God it is your will for your people to prosper God we break the powers of darkness that fight in the health of your people this morning God Almighty we stand in the gap God that pain will be removed God we pull out the arrows now of pain in the name of Jesus and we break them God because it is already said God that you have already given us the hands to break the bow of steel now God we break every powers of pain we break every darts of pain now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. 
Almighty, for I'm a gene as well, God, that is requesting uh, God prior for pain again in the leg. Masatalaba, Rebo Ko Shadaba, Uncle, no, God Almighty, I pray that Uncle Bone, Rebo Shadaba, will be normal now. Masakata, God, I war Makasuku Rebio, because God Almighty, you have already given us power. Masatarabo Shadaba, over pain. God, I pull out every dart now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, I set your people free from pain this morning father in the name of jesus christ and i speak restoration god by the power of the strong hand in the name of jesus break this pain of your people god break the shackles of pain mako shataraba and set them free to walk god almighty because he who the sun set free is free indeed mighty and everlasting father you have already blessed blessed marriages in the name of jesus christ of nazareth it was the first oh god almighty mighty Jesus, uh, thing that you did, Father, when you turn uh, the water into wine, God Almighty, oh God Almighty, I speak restoration in this marriage. No, in the name of Jesus, I pray, no God, that love will be restored, companionship will be restored. God Almighty, appetite for intimacy, God Almighty, will be restored now. In the name of Jesus, friendship uh, will be restored now. In the name of Jesus, God, we break uh, every Jezebel like spirit. Uh, God, that will want to speak confusion over this marriage, the Blake, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God. I pray, God Almighty, that there will be an appetite for each other, God. Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now, God. Almighty, that there will, God Almighty, Jesus, will find that comforting with each other. God Almighty, let communication be easy now, God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we break the Egyptian powers, God, that fight that steal marriage in the name of Jesus God Almighty we break that Egyptian spirit now God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Father we release this marriage now into happiness unity and love and this morning man hey, Rebo Shanda, God Almighty I pray this morning that restoration will be the portion of Kedana this morning God Almighty in the name of Jesus every aspect of our life that need a grace that need your empowerment that need restoration now God we oh God we declare it this morning god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth god Almighty, but even, even now, God, Almighty, as your woman servant, God Almighty, as she petition, as she pray, God Almighty, I pray this morning, God Almighty, for in restoration, now, God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, for elevation, God, for equipping in the spirit, God Almighty, for speed, God Almighty, I lift her up unto you this morning as a trailblazer this morning, uh, God Almighty, I pray by fire that you lose, God Almighty, everything uh, that that is dormant in our life, God Almighty. I speak uh, an opening now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God Almighty. Let nothing be lacking. God, lift our faith unto you, God, as you restore her, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray now, God Almighty, even. Uh, Oh, God, for Tashana Richards, God, that need a restoration in our finance and our prior life. In the name of Jesus, God, it is prior. God Almighty, that she communicate with you, God. Hallelujah. I pray, God, that you'll teach her, God Almighty, the words. God Almighty, oh, God, to pray, God. You said men are always to pray and not faint. You said men are always to pray, God, as she desire the appetite, God, to pray and to seek God. I pray for God to be God Almighty and opening God Almighty Father, every prayerless spirit, God, every spirit of prayerless God, I come against it. Yes, no, I can't go to and I pray, Father, by fire, God Almighty, that your birth prayer in her, God Almighty, Father, I pray that God should be like a bubbling fountain, God Almighty, when the word coming from her mouth, God Almighty, they will be like dandemite, and they will be like fire, God. Mighty God, I pray that Lord God Almighty, our prayer life will take on a quantum leap. No, Maku Shakata, Kedisha Williams, that is also asking for the same request. God Almighty, and for everyone else that is asking God Almighty for their prayer life, oh God, to take on another level. God, I stand, God Almighty, as you said, you have given me the authority as a priest. God Almighty, as you said, God, you have called me to stand as a 
priest Mashindo Riba Rabo Koshata. I stand a Ramande Rakatu Rebo in that office now and I declare a shifting. I declare Ma Mi Akusha Rikosha. I declare recovery now in the name of Jesus. You in shall the recover. Name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Yes
break every spirit that uses them. Marco, Shanda, Masoko, Toria. I lose them, God, this morning. They will not be used as prey to the enemy. In the name of Jesus, they should not be used. God, to bring torment and this God, God Almighty, they shall be leaders of society. And not leaders of the name. God Almighty, they shall not be caged again, God. We break every spirit out of cage. We break to the spiritual cage now, God. Everything that cages their mind, everything that uses them, God Almighty, to be a reproach unto the schools. God Almighty, we bind that spirit this morning. We stand and we break that powers of darkness. God, let there be a change in this school, yes, God. God. We break it. Rabba. Oh, Rabba. God. We break it. We bind, we blast every gang, God. Yes, we God. blast oh, Jesus. God Almighty, Jesus. Masoko, Rebo, Shatadaba. Rabba, Kasata, Mande, Kosata. God Almighty, this morning, this child will be free. God Almighty, Jesus. Oh God, they will this person will no longer be used, God Almighty, to torment this girl. In the name, In the of, name Jesus of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray deliverance this uh, morning. Deliverance. The entire family, God. Almighty, Blinding someone will eyes, God. Let her pass. God. Almighty, Jesus. be upon the children that are bullying. In the name of Jesus, let the Almighty sweet God. To be upon them. God, Almighty, let there be a fear upon them, God. In the yes, name of God. Jesus Christ, of oh, Nazareth, yes, God, I give you all the glory this morning. Mighty God of Daniel, every children, God, we have already placed them under the blood. God, Almighty, every destiny that would want to exchange, God, Almighty, Jesus. Oh, mighty God of Daniel, God, I pray this morning that destiny helpers will be released, God oh, Almighty, to the family, God Almighty, of Miss Wallace, God, in the name of yes, Jesus, God. God yes, God, God. destiny helpers. Oh, God Almighty, that their education level will be extra. Oh, God Almighty, yes, elevated. God, God, declare, yes, God, remember, God Almighty, your promises. Oh, God Almighty, to Miss Wallace, yes, God yes, Almighty, I pray, Father, that you're sure, God Almighty, that whatever you promise, you will do. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, Father, I oh, thank you God. for the beauty this morning. Mighty God of Jesus. Oh, the Sakataraba. Rabo Shande Masuku Rabo. As the family is grieving at this time, Maku Shataraba. Rabo Satadaba. God, you are the comforter. God Almighty, let there be no my God. Almighty, that will kill the young boys of this family. Oh, God Almighty, that fear of spirit, God, that searched for the young boy of the nation, oh one the God Almighty, Jesus, this purpose, this family, the Bailey family, God Almighty, none God Almighty will be cut off from a tender age. God, In we the name of Jesus. Jesus. Almighty, that searched for to kill the young boys in the family. God Almighty, we know God the purpose of the man in the family. God Almighty, I pray God that you'll restore this family now. God Almighty, Jesus, I pray. But in grace will be upon Almighty and even God Almighty, justice. Person that do this killing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, let nothing be hidden from your people, God. No, Mighty God, justice, God. justice, Almighty, fear justice, God. Justice, justice, God, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. God, the I come against them for the death assignment over their life. In the name of oh, Jesus, God. I speak life to combat this altar now. In oh, the name of Jesus, every altar that searched for blood concerning this old family. Oh, God, Almighty, everything, everything that was projected, God, against this family. No, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, I speak life and I seal this family again. Blood. God, I cast out everything. God Almighty, we fight against this family now. In the oh, name of God, Jesus. God, Almighty, let your strong hand be upon them, God Almighty, I and come to die. Marco, I shut them. Them. Shut I them. God, Jesus. we know the fairest yes. spirit that killed the young boy, killed destiny. Father, I oh, speak God, them. against it. God Almighty, you have sent oh, Moses God. to contend with the God of the Nile. You have sent Moses to contend, oh God, Jesus. with Egypt. So now, God, I stand in that Jesus. authority and I contend now, God Almighty, Father. Oh. None, God Almighty, will ever be cut off again, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you for this restoration for this family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God. Oh God, total restoration, total restoration, mighty God. Over the marriages, God Almighty, 
in the silo district god almighty in the name of jesus oh Thank total you. deliverance total restoration god almighty for sister blake no in the name of jesus christ of Thank nazareth you, Total deliverance no oh god almighty for tasha oh god almighty total deliverance no god almighty spiritual growth oh god for the fisher family in the mighty name of jesus christ mighty god of daniel anything god that i failed to put before you this morning god i know that you are my king father and i know that you are the god that searched the earth god almighty you know everything god almighty about your people this morning in the name of jesus and i declare god almighty that yoke will be broken, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you this morning, Father, that you're even visiting every other request this morning. Thank you, Jesus, that, oh God, your word come, God Almighty, to set the captive free. God, I cover your people again with the blood. I cover every situation again. I cover my family. I cover everything that is associated with me. I cover everything. I cover my ministry. I cover everything with the blood. I cover the leaders of this platform. I cover everything, God Almighty, that belongs to them. God Almighty, and everything that was cast out this morning out of the life of your people, God, we send it to the abyss. God, we send it to a place, God, where there shall be no in God. There shall be no restoration to that. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bind it, God Almighty. Oh God, we cause that cannot be broken. God Almighty. And God Almighty, we will careful to give you all the glory because your people are no free. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let the church say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory amen. to Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Thank you this morning. We thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. And we said amen. People of God, we do not serve a God of waste. We do not serve a God of waste. And whenever he sends a word, it is that word that we should live on and we should dwell on. We should receive in our spirit. But my prayer for you this morning is to pray that you will be at that level, at that capacity to maintain, to accept, to receive. You will be able to learn to receive. Whenever God sent a word, you will be at that place that your system is not broken, so you will leak out anything. I bless you this morning, people of God. Remember that we meet here again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Come with your prayer. Come with your praise. Do not allow the enemy to steal whatever which was poured out to you this morning. Do not allow the enemy to put you back in a place of defeat. God said restoration. And this is a word that we should add to our vocab. That word, I can't call it. So this is a word that we should add to our life this morning. We should take it with us. And whenever the enemy said this, come on, somebody, just say restoration. I have already been restored. Many persons are open, you know, um, open to get married. You, you know, sometimes we must just start praying for your husband. Yesterday, I was praying with my friend day before yesterday morning, and he must be saying, why is this woman praying for his husband, for her husband, and she's not married? She don't even have the man. And I was just praying. I was saying, God, cover my husband wherever he is, because I know that he's really oh, covering from this. We have to be so Hallelujah. 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 We have strategies. We have strategies. I love you all with the love of Jesus. Sometimes we have to pray for some things. Yes. I remember one prophet said, I put some something on my bed. Just a man, and I said, I call for a spiritual wife. You shall come alive. And you're not going to be no Jezebel. You shall come alive. Come we are on. And God said, I've given you the power to call for it. Yes. <laughs> I'm speaking it before. This is my season. This is my Praise the Lord. Anyone want to say anything before we leave this altar this morning? Anyone, any word, anything you want to say before we leave? White dress. White dress. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, my sister just asked me. I wasn't going to say anything else, you know, but to God be the glory. 
God, 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 God is just God. Yes. God is just God. You know, when I when 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 I was there and we were our sister. What is her name that we prayed for this morning again? Janice. Janice. I don't know, but the Lord just I just hear in marriage in my spirit. I, I am hearing marriage concerning her. And that is the reason why I ask her if she's married. Praise the name of the Lord. But my sister, I don't know what God is doing, but I heard it in my spirit. But you know, and when I heard my sister speak a while ago you know you know just just give god glory just restore sister janice just restore yes, this god, morning god, 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 god just restore just restore just ask god for restoration just speak restoration over your life i will not go in that spirit of depression look here look here woman you you might have bad relationship past and bad experience but look here as our sister said just pray it into existence i will not say more god bless you god bless you god bless you all what a sweet sweet atmosphere that we have this morning we should be in a church this morning Mighty oh, God, you have a wonderful day. Yeah. Very good a one, a very day. good one. Yes, man, I will stay in this yeah. atmosphere. I will stay in prayer today. I love this atmosphere. You'll be safe, everyone. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye. God bless you, everybody. We do not meet down here. Let us meet in.